Welcome to your day three yoga practice. Today we're going to be detoxifying the liver and really all of the solar plexus organs and digestive organs. And we're going to begin in child's pose. So come on down to your mat and take your hips back and just start to drop in. Connect with your breath. Connect with your body. Couple deep breaths here, breathing out, just feeling yourself beginning to let go and fully arrive in this moment. And then let's begin with just a real easy little side stretch here. So I'm going to have you breathe in and just lift your chest, lift your gaze, walk your hands over to the left, let your hips settle towards the right and just feel a nice opening along the right side of your torso. And if you've read your ebook, you know that your liver is just a huge organ that rests right underneath your rib cage on the right. The body is big filter. One more deep breath on this side, just breathing into that space of your liver, the right side of your torso. Breathing out completely. And then we'll switch sides, walking the hands over to the opposite side. So let yourself really. Um, contract as your hands walk to the right and then feel the left side of your torso beginning to open. So as you know, most of the movements that we do through um, our detox practices have a lot to do with compressing and then expanding or squeezing and soaking and then opening. So take one more deep breath here on the side. Breathing out completely and then walk your hands back through center. Take child's pose, full breath here, breathing in and out. And then with your next breath in, I'm gonna have you rise up onto your hands and knees and we'll take a, what I like to call an exotic cat cow. So with your breath out, round your spine, draw your navel in towards your back, and then reach the right side of your torso out towards the right and drop it through center and reach to the left and just begin to draw some nice big circles with your spine and with your torso. And really bringing the awareness um, home deep inside your torso and feeling where that sense of squeezing and stretching, compression and elongation that's happening through all of your inner organs. So gently massaging them as you awaken the core of your body, your spine, and your muscles. Switch directions. Circle around a couple more times. Get all the kinks out and really allow the breath and the body to be connected here. All right, bring yourself back through center. And then tuck your toes, walk your hands back, and bring yourself into Malasana, a deep squat. So your feet can be wide, your toes can turn out, and then just let your torso uh, fall down between your legs towards the floor, elbows dropping heavy, and let your thighs hug in towards uh, your waistline, towards the side body a little bit. So there's that compression piece again here. Breathe in real deep through your torso, and breathing out completely, feeling that compression through the front of your body. Inhale, lift your gaze, lift your chest, and then bring yourself back out onto your hands and knees, and we're going to do a side stretch again. So I'm going to have you rotate, turn out onto your right, uh, your left hand, and your left knee. Send your right arm up, and then reach it towards the front of your mat, and just allow that whole right side of your torso to open up wide, and send the breath into where you're feeling the bulk of the stretch. At the same time, you can really press through your left hand and squeeze the left side of your torso, contract the left side of your torso. Great, and then slowly release, bring yourself back through neutral, and then switch to side two. So you're gonna roll into your right hand and onto your right knee. And I like to kind of turn my right toes to point back behind me. Ideally, hands underneath the shoulder, knees underneath the hip. Stretch that left arm over and take us several deep breaths, opening up the left side of your torso. And then gently releasing, bring yourself back through hands and knees 
and then all the way back into downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, and draw back. Couple breaths here if you want to um, bend and straighten your knees or lift and lower your heels to wake up your muscles, go ahead and do that. Great, feeling your body arriving in stillness. We're gonna take one last big breath in and out. And then with your next breath in, walk your feet forward, lift your chest, and soften your spine as you fold forward. Hang in here for a moment, just release, just let go. Letting the back of your body begin to open. If you'd like, you can hook your fingers in the crooks of your elbows, sway your torso from side to side. You might have your knees really bent, you could have your feet wide apart. And then release your hands and let yourself roll up through your spine. Come in to stand nice and tall at the front of your mat in Mountain Pose Tadasana. Bring your palms together at the front of your chest. And on your next breath in, bending your knees, coming up into Utkatasana Chair Pose. Bring your hands down through center, and we're gonna to twist to the right. So wedge your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh, press your palms, gaze up if you can, dropping your hips low and feeling all of your inner organs gently twisting. Breathe and come through center. Breathe out, twist to the left. Wedging your right elbow to the outside of your thigh. Press your left palm firmly into your right to help assist the rotation through your rib cage. Good. Breathing out and breathing and coming back up. Straighten your legs, reach up and arch back, and then folding forward as you exhale. Breathing in, halfway lift. Breathing out, step your left foot back behind. Drop the outside of your back heel and rise up into warrior one. We're going to take something called fist of fire. This is a great way to get some of the aggression out or repressed anger out of your, your liver. So as you exhale, you're going to make fists with your hands and then just pull your arms down really strong through the biceps. And each time you breathe out, just pull those hands down. <sighs> make a strong exhale through the mouth, pulling the belly in. Great, you wanna do that about three times, or five. <laughs> then release your hands behind your back, clasp your fingers. And with your exhale, we're gonna come into Humble Warrior. So see if you can tip forward, slide your torso to the inside of your right thigh, pressing your thigh to your torso, torso to your thigh. So again, we're compressing gently through the right side of the torso. As you breathe in, lift your chest, take your hands to the floor, Lifting the left heel and then twisting. Send your right arm up towards the ceiling. Breathe out, release the hand to the floor and step yourself back. Find your downward facing dog. From down dog, breathing in, coming to plank pose, upward push up position. Breathing out, lower yourself all the way down. Come to your belly, curling up into cobra, breathing in and moving. A little deeper through up dog if you wish, straightening your arms, lifting the knees, and then pulling yourself back, finding your downward facing dog. And we're gonna take that sequence through on side two. So step your left foot to the front of your mat, come up into warrior one pose, breathe in, preparing for that fist of fire. So again, with your exhale, you make fists, and then with a strong energy in your biceps, pull the arms down, breathe out through your mouth, Pulling the belly in. <sighs> Inhaling, arms reach up. Exhaling. <sighs> Inhaling. Exhaling. Do that one or two more times with your breath. Feel the strength in your body. Let your anger out. And then again, the hands will come behind the back as you breathe out. Lift your chest. Inhale. Exhale. Tip forward. Let your head fall towards the earth. Slide to the inside of your left thigh and let the thigh and the torso compress together. Squeeze through the front of your body a little bit. This is what allows us to get the toxins out when we squeeze and compress and contract purposely. 
Good. Breathe out at the bottom here. With your next breath in, lift your chest, release your hands to the floor, lifting your right heel. And then send your left arm up towards the ceiling, twisting your body, inhaling. And exhaling, releasing that hand to the floor. And you're going to step to the front of your mat. Lift your chest, breathe in. Fold forward, exhale. Bend your knees, breathing in, rising up into chair pose, Utkatasana. And exhale, we'll twist again, taking the left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. Full breath in. Breathing out and switching sides. Coming up through center and then exhale, take that right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Full breath in and out. Back up through center, straighten the legs. And then as you breathe out, dive over your thighs, forward fold. Breathing in, halfway lift. And stepping that left foot back as you breathe out. Drop the back heel, rise up and straighten your legs for triangle pose. We're going to turn the right palm up and lift the right arm up and back, opening the right side of your torso. And then exhale, reach out over that right leg, triangle pose. Here in your triangle pose, send your left arm over your head and then really press through the right hand to squeeze the right side of your torso, right? compressing into the liver as you expand the left side of your torso. You can literally puff out your rib cage and your waistline on the left side towards the sky. As you exhale, sweep your left arm towards the floor and then again just twist, breathe and lift your right arm and breathe out, release your right hand to the floor. Good, step back, find your down dog. And then resting here or moving through your vinyasa, breathing into plank, breathing out lower through chaturanga, breathing into your up dog, breathing out through your down dog. Great, and then we'll take that triangle pose on side two, so a full breath in. And as you exhale, step your left foot to the head of your mat, drop your right heel, and come on up, straighten your legs, preparing for triangle pose. Turn your left palm up, lift it towards the sky, and open the left side of your torso, squeeze through the right waistline. Exhale, triangle pose. Turn your right palm towards the front of your mat and reach the arm over, lengthen through that right side of the torso. Feel the left side squeezing a little bit, puffing out the right rib cage, really opening through that side of your body. Good. Lift your right arm back up, breathing in. And then exhale, come through your lunge, lifting the right heel, lifting the left arm, twisting, breathe in. And breathing out, releasing. And stepping to the front of your mat, lift your chest, inhale. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, lift your chest again. And this time you're going to bend your knees all the way down into a deep squat. This time the feet are together, knees are together, and just rest your torso over your thighs for a moment. Notice how you're feeling. And a few deep breaths. And then from here we're going to shift ourselves down onto our mat and have a seat. We'll move through a few seated postures that further help to open up and clean out your solar plexus organs. So extend your legs straight, and then you're gonna bend your right knee, place the foot on the floor, and make sure you've got some space between the foot and your inner left thigh. Reach your right arm up, and then reach to the inside of your right leg, coming into what's called Marichyasana A pose. So if it's possible for you, your arms both wrap behind you and you clasp your hands. And then letting your torso fold deeply forward hugging your right thigh in towards your torso. If this is out of reach for you, you can use a belt between your hands. You can also just have your hands on the floor. Maybe you grab your foot and keep drawing that right thigh in towards your torso. Take your last breath out here. Empty your lungs fully, squeezing through the belly. And then breathe in to release. Rise up and twist towards the right. And grab onto the leg with your left hand, prop up on your right fingers, look back over your shoulder, and again, hug your thigh to your belly, to your torso. Feel all of your inner organs turning towards the right in this twist. 
Good. Take your last breath in, sit tall. And exhale, release, unwind, come through center. Switch sides. Slide your left foot back, sit tall, and reach your left arm up. Tip forward from your hips as you exhale. And again, maybe you'll just grab your foot or wrap that left arm around your left leg. Reach back with your right arm. See if you can hook your hands. Hold yourself forward. And really hug in to your center. So the left thigh hugs in. Your head drops low, so there's lots of compression through the front of your body. You can always be sitting up on a boost to help you with these forward folds. Take your last breath out. Exhale completely. Breathe in to rise. And we'll twist towards the left. So wrap your right arm around that left leg. Flex your right foot. Sit tall through your spine. Gaze back over your left shoulder and move your belly to the left. A couple more deep breaths here. Great. Take your last breath in, and as you exhale, unwind, bringing yourself back through center and releasing. We're going to come down onto our backs from here so you can sit tall, slowly roll down through your spine. Preparing for a bridge variation. So your feet are right underneath your knees. And you're going to press down into your feet. And as you breathe in, your hips will rise, as well as your arms. Taking your arms up and overhead. Fully breathe in here at the top. And then with your exhale, let your hips lower. Let your arms sequence down. And repeat. Breathe in, press through the feet and the shoulders, lifting your hips and stretching your arms back. Breathing out, lower the hips, lower the arms, back down alongside your body. Again, inhaling. Let's rise up nice and high. And this time, hold here at the top. Really opening up the front of the body and stretching along the side bodies. And then with your breath out, go ahead and release. Bring the arms back down and release your hips to the mat. Walk your feet together. Let your knees fall open. Take your hands, rest them over your, your belly. Maybe one hand over the right side, one hand over the left. Let the warmth of your hands stimulate the organs beneath. Breathe in and breathe out completely. Feeling inside yourself a sense of calm arising. Maybe taking an exhale through your mouth, a cleansing breath out to release any leftover toxins that your body is ready to release. When that feels complete, we're going to move into our final relaxation. It's time. So you can stretch your legs out and get comfy. And as always, if there's something more that you want to do, just press pause on this video and take a few more postures. I always find about 20 minutes into my own practice that I'm ready to go by that time. I want to keep practicing. So if that's the case for you, you're definitely welcome to do that. Otherwise, just let go and feel everything softening, everything relaxing. Your liver is such an important organ in your body. It helps to filter out all of the negativity, the toxins, the waste that we ingest. So right now, just sending gratitude to your liver for all of the hard work that it does. And if you'd like to continue resting here in your Shavasana, please feel free. 
And if you need to move on with the rest of your day, uh, let yourself begin transitioning off to one side and eventually up to seated. Take a quiet moment. Commit to your health today. Commit to expressing yourself freely in your life. Expressing yourself authentically throughout your day. It was an honor being with you through this practice. Let's bring our hands to heart center. Have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.